think about Gilbert Burns fighting Dan Hooker. I was Crazy. I filmed him that week. Drained himself. Soon as he, I remember when Dan Hooker beat him and after the fight, Dan Hooker was like, I didn't beat fucking Gilbert Burns. I beat a deflated Gilbert Burns. Yeah. He like he was honest about that. Right. Like I didn't beat Gilbert Burns. I beat a weight drained Gilbert Burns. Like some people are not just you know what I mean? But, like, so let me ask you this. What did you think about Hamzat missing weight so badly? Because that's a similar situation. That's eight and a half pounds, though, from the championship limit. Yeah. That's, that's eight a and lot. a half. That's not four. No. That's not three. That's, that's eight a and a half. Henry Cejudo, you see his theory? What is he it? He said that he feel like he's training too much. That's why he, he's having a hard time with with the weight cut. Huh. He's tra- He feel like he's training. And that's his reputation. Right. A maniac. Yeah. And he said his body is not reacting to the weight cut. Hmm. Um, so I don't know. Well, it's also he's coming in way too heavy. He's trying to, you know, drain himself of 20, 30 pounds. Well, that's what his coach said. That he, you know, he felt like he, he didn't cut weight the right way. But he also said, he told Ariel Hawani that he hasn't been the same since he caught COVID. Speaking mm, of COVID. He yeah. said that on his show. Well, you know what he did? He kept training. That's why he wasn't the same since he got COVID. He kept training while he had COVID. And he was hospitalized twice. He was on death's door. Yeah, man. coughing up blood and that everything. fucking dude would not stop training. That's how crazy he is. Do you think he's gonna make it? You think? What do you think he needs to do to? I think he should get with a legitimate weight cut specialist. Like I don't know who he had with him, but he needs someone who's with him in camp twenty four seven. Someone who's with him through the entire process. Someone who makes sure that before he even enters camp that he's close. I mean, it's not like the guy gets fat, but, you know, he's draining himself. I think there should be more weight classes. Not only that, I think they should eliminate weight cutting. I think it's it's the so, dumbest uh, thing in the world. Okay. To 24 hours before a fucking cage fight, yeah. you literally dehydrate the, your organs, and your, your brain, brain yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. You get yourself... Why? So what do you mean? It's they just fight at their natural weight? Yes. It's sanctioned cheating. So, That's what it okay, is. Kamal may walk around at 185, 190. That's what he should be a champ at. And then what, Izzy probably walk around at 185. Yeah, Izzy's one of the rare dudes yeah. who doesn't cut And Kobe. Weight. But think about when Izzy went up, when he fought Jan Bohovic. He was still 187 or some it crazy was like shit. Like, yeah, it, I think it was 193, Yeah, he tried to gain weight. Yeah. He tried I, to I gain don't weight. even think he did try. I think his idea was like, fuck that. This is what I walk around at. I'll just pick him apart. But when a guy gets on top of you, that's when it makes a big difference. When a 230-pound man like Bohovic takes you down and then smushes you, that's the, that's the big difference is in well, the they, grappling. They think Khabib is going to come back one day, and I'm like, Khabib, like 205 pounds. He has man. no desire to come back. Zero. And it's funny because people think like, all right, Islam, say uh, Charles go beat Islam in right. one round, two rounds. He, right. he, Charles said, I'm going to call out Khabib. Bro, Khabib is not coming back. Tony Ferguson, he's not coming back. Like, yeah. let this man be happy and overweight and retired. They even offered him big money for a grappling match for UFC Fight Pass. He was like, yet. Listen, man, you know how much money they got in that part of the world. Yeah. You think Khabib was worried about money? Tyson right. Fury said it best. He was happy for Khabib. He retired undefeated. He got out. He got his money. He left. Yeah. Jose Aldo, congratulations to his career. Yeah. Legendary GOAT. I think it's multiple goats in this sport, especially because his weight classes. Soon as the announcement came, they compared him to Khabib. Uh, did he have a better career than Khabib? Leave Khabib alone. Yeah. He doesn't care. Yeah. The fans care. do. It's argument, it's it's clickbait. It's interesting. All these damn websites every day is Khabib said this, Khabib yeah. said that. And I'm like, yo, bro, like Khabib is not coming back and Khabib don't care. Right. Like Khabib, yes, Khabib is gonna if you ask Khabib. How he's going to ride Charles like a horse. That's his opinion. Yeah. Like, that's his brother. He's been with him since he was a little kid. Right. I think he's going to ride. That's a funny ass saying what he said. I'm like, he's going to ride funny. Charles like a horse. Because, you know, Islam be riding horses. You seen? The, you ain't seen the video? <laughs> yeah, I've seen yeah, it. Yeah. I have like, seen it. Yeah. You see what he did to Bobby Green? Ran him, rode him he like just, a horse. He just ran him over. But Bobby didn't have a chance to train no. for that fight at all. I mean, that was a last-minute replacement. That was going to be – I remember when you had him on a podcast and he was talking about how boring that style is. And I was just like, <laughs> one day you're going to find out. See, but it's not it, – look, if you think it's boring, then you should be kickboxing. 100%. I mean, that's, the, that's my common counter to anybody that says anything yeah. about how boring wrestling is. It's, if but, a guy can beat you with wrestling, why wouldn't he beat you with wrestling? This is the whole purpose of mixed martial arts is to find out who can implement their strategy the best. 
And then sometimes when guys are grapplers, you expect them to grapple and they start out striking. And there's a lot of guys that, like Curtis Blades, yeah. who were predominantly grapplers, and now he's knocking people out without even any takedown. Attempts. That was Camaro. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you see exactly. what I'm saying? That was, exactly. It's the same 